What is up everyone? In this video, we're gonna take a look at how much damage we can do with Overload with 1500 EM. So, here is my official right now. You should not be doing this at home because I think it's very weird. But right now, I have 800 EM. No, nothing because I don't really care. Weapon, I'm using the Stringless. And I'm using 4-piece Crimson Witch of Flames. My Sandpiece, Goblet, and Circlet, they all use EM Mastery main stats. My Ember is using LG so that I can give 200 EM. Theona C6 so that I can transfer 200 EM as well. And after that, I gave her 4-piece Instructor set so that she can give extra 120 EM to Fischl. And here is Sucrose. Sadly, I didn't have EM piece on Goblet again. Fischl took the only EM piece, so I just had to just finish this very decent set. So here's this. I have 792 Elemental Mastery on Sucrose, so she's going to be transferring 20% of that to Fischl. So that's how I get 1500 EM. And we're going to go ahead and test this out to Priority is fine. So I have a problem with Theona. Because the way she aims skills, right? Things can go down really bad. So let's hope that it's gonna work out pretty well. Okay. What am I doing? I thought I had Amber out. I'm dumb. Okay. Twenty two K overload and I have sixteen fifteen EM. But that's not really consistent because I need to keep on getting that pyro somewhere, right? And because this team is just kind of meme, I don't even know what to do. What I can tell you is that overload damage 21k is a lot. Just like how we do like a one-shot team, we give all those attack, critical chance, critical damage to that main DPS when you swirl it off. You know, you always do that. But is it good? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. But this is actually going to help us out, especially when you're a small spender or a F2P. If you do have comps like this, like Electro comps with some other characters like Bennett, Sing Chu, you will be able to do better reactions and it's gonna help you clear out dungeon a little faster, yeah? Okay, so we kind of saw what we could do with EMs. We were able to reach up to 1600 EM. That's about it, okay? That was just way too high. It's probably not efficient anyway. So why don't we try to fix this team and see if we can see more consistent reactions. So let me try something else. I think I would like to take out Fischl and use her as a support and as well as a support DPS. And then replace Fischl's weapon with Elegy so that she can act as a both DPS and support. Let me change her settings right now. All right, this is a good ratio, but I will not do a lot of damage, of course. And then we're gonna bench Ember, probably put Beto instead. And um, we're gonna be using Sucrose. What else can we use? Should we be using Sing Chu? That sounds like a good idea. What the f is wrong with this? stats right now. 32% <laughs> crit rate with a 202% critical damage. He doesn't give a f if he crits, the opponent dies. He's gonna have 228 elemental mastery. And then Beidou has no EM because she doesn't give a f And Fischl, no... Oh, she has a 164 Y. 164 EM Y. Where'd I get that from? Nope. 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 What? Is it from her ascension stats? No, shouldn't be, right? Bow? Elegy? Oh, f It gives 120 EM! Alright, alright, alright. I like that. It's not part of the video anyways. <laughs> okay, so we have changed the team. And then we have revised all our character's artifacts. So my official right now has 164 EM. With a 69% critical rate, 149% critical damage. With 1200 attack. This is pretty sad, but it's because I don't have LG at level 90. But this doesn't really matter, okay? Because we're only gonna look at the reaction damage. So weaker the character, the better it is. With higher levels. So that's always good. Here's gonna be my Beidou with 2200 attack, 58 EM, 55% critical rate, 168% critical damage. Alright, that's, that's my Beidou. And this is my Sing Chu. 
So I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing. You notice how like Sing Chu and Beidou, they can be a sub DPS. They can do damage off field as well as special. So I'm just going to be using all these characters like ult and elemental skills and then switch out to special and just start slapping people's face. You know, with that big EM. So my Sing Chu, 61% critical rate, 151% critical damage and low attack as well. That's good. And Sucrose. She has 978 elemental mastery. And yep, cock. We're gonna take the team to the abyss and see how it goes. All right, let's go to Spare Abyss, floor 12. I'm kind of looking at my Sucrose level. I'm like, hmm, is it good enough? But let's first try it out and see if it works. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Physical damage doesn't really matter, right? All right, you guys ready? You guys ready? <laughs> Come here, guys. Okay. Oh! 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 I see, like, so much damage. And that was pretty quick. Yeah? Let's start using those skills now. Wait, what happened to everyone? What? <laughs> oh! Please get hit! Let me see if I can get my... Uh, okay! Huh? That was fast. Considering how shitty non-melt vaporize reactions were. Okay, that is the only reason why we think it's really fast. But this is how I feel as a whale. You guys, especially when you spent less money and just have those nice comps, you guys would be feeling this a lot more. Fenty solo? No, no, no. <laughs> no, Fenty is not gonna solo this. But guys, how much EM did our sucrose have in that spare abyss? We're about to find out, okay? But it's kind of easy to tell, so why don't we just kind of take a look at it and tell you? So, it's just gonna be plus 200 from Elegy, right? It's just from this. And I believe Sucrose only gives 20% EM to her teammates. Is she getting a buff as herself too? Okay. EM made the game more F2P friendly, yes. You know what? They're still gonna cry about how they can't really get 5-star heroes in the game. Okay, watch this. So before, she has 978 using a skill. Gives her nothing. It doesn't give her. So the only damage she got was Fischl's bow. So that gives her plus 200, which is about 1200 EM. Plus 200, that's gonna be 1178. Okay, here's my conclusion. To be honest, I actually didn't really think Sucrose was that great. But after the buff, and because how weird Sucrose was before, like we used to give her a lot of EM so that we can do a big damage showcase. But now you can use this big damage showcase build to actually use it in real battle, just like that. So that's the reason why I would say Sucrose is good now. And another good thing about Sucrose is that she doesn't need constellations, okay? C4 is every 7 more normal and a charge attack. Sucrose will reduce the cooldown of whatever that is. Hey, doesn't really matter. Really? Sorry. C4 is broken. What the f*** is this? Anyways, so C4 is okay. It reduces cooldown for her E. And C6 triggers elemental absorption. And all party member gains 20% elemental burst damage. Yeah, so C4, C6. Or even if you don't have constellation, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's fine. She's gonna be great. Yeah, all of a sudden it turned out to be a Sucrose Showcase. I don't know how this turned out to be, but it was supposed to be uh, how much damage we're going to do with um, 1500 Elemental Mastery with Overload. But now it's like, oh, guys, I think Sucrose is good. Anyways, that's how it turns out to be. Hey, I like Sucrose. I used her a lot back in the day to do big burst damage, but I kind of benched her, right? But then now we can actually use her. You can also do Showcase damage, and then you can use the exact same build to actually clear some Abyss. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something and I'll see you guys later. Adios.